It's a quick update on my faulty MBS motherboard I've been working on and just to show you where I'm up to or where I'm not in this case, I still don't have the, the board working yet but I'll get to that in a moment. So quick word of warning, if you're not interested in listening to me ramble on about faulty old electronics for about 10 minutes then you're probably not going to find this video too appealing so just bear that in mind, you have been warned. But what I'll do is I'll quickly show you my setup here first and then I'll talk a bit about the, the board. But this is the the JAMA harness I, I bought here and it's been modified slightly to work with the, the MVS board here and again thanks to Luke for all the, the info and tips and getting this uh, rigged up, really appreciate that and also thanks to everyone that left comments and advice in the, the last video I did, I really appreciate that I got tons of useful feedback and, and info from that so yeah, got the, the harness all wired up here and I've basically split it into two sections here, so I've got all the uh, this big loom here, this is all for the, the controls and over here I've got power and video. So, I'll quickly show you how this is hooked up. I made a special Molex connector for this, just a kind of custom thing so it would be easy to plug into my power supply which I'll show you in just a moment. So, on this I've got my plus 5, negative 5, ground and uh, 12 volts. So that's all hooked up to the the harness here. Over here I've got my RGB SCART cable, that's what that looks like for anyone that's wondering. That's the kind of standard we have here in the, the UK, or at least we used to anyway. So that's your RGB SCART and that's all hooked up here. I've got the uh, red, green and blue and um, I think it's the 12 volts and a sync cable. And I've tried a few different combinations of that or configurations with different resistors and stuff and I'm pretty happy that that's all uh, rigged up properly and, and working as it should but yeah that's the, the harness there and the, the video on power so over here I've got my power supply unit and that's just a regular PC power supply pulled from one of my old machines and you can see here I've got the other end of that Molex connector and this is different from the, the regular connectors which I've, uh, I've zip tied them away here so I don't accidentally plug one of them in instead but as you can see I've rigged this up so um, it's got the uh, plus 5 12 volts ground and the negative 5 coming from the, the power supply there so that just plugs straight into the, uh, the connector here if I can do it one handed like that so that makes it nice and simple if I want to uh, unplug it all and here I've got my power switch, so just turn that on and off like that, and that supplies power to the, the harness. And this is basically just your, your green wire and your, your ground uh, with a switch on the end. And that tells the, the power supply unit to supply power to this cable here. But that's how I've got all my um, harness set up, and that just plugs straight into the back of the TV there. The board itself, it's still not working. As you can see, I've cleaned it up a lot since last time. I got rid of all the, the dust that was on there, so it's looking a lot nicer. I've gone over the, the board, triple double checked it, uh, the whole thing, looking for dodgy traces or any signs of damage, and patched anything I thought was suspect. As you can see over here, I replaced the, the battery with a, a button cell and a button cell holder, like that. So that was easy enough, and uh, I repaired the, the dodgy trace that I found that was sitting underneath there as well. You can see it looks a little green at the moment, but that's because uh, I washed the whole board. Uh, I washed it after I tested it and everything, and uh, the kind of traces went a wee bit green there, but that's not a big deal for now, that's my least of my worries for now. But, yeah, hooked it all up and like the seller had said all I got was this little red light coming on here no video no audio uh, basically just dead uh, so the things I've noticed with this board and I have checked everything I've checked for bad traces and everything I spent several hours going over the whole board looking for any physical uh, signs of defects or anything like that couldn't find anything 
but what I did notice was when I turn on the board and by the way I've tried the board with the, the BIOS chip installed with a game in, installed and uh, without a game, without the chip uh, all the different configurations and it's the same either way I just get no video, no uh, audio what I have noticed though is this chip here the Z80 CPU and I was talking to Thomas3120 the other day there um, and he was saying that he, uh, well, he told me this was uh, a sound processor. Um, he said he'd worked with, or he'd come across these before in the past. Uh, but anyway, well, I'm getting off topic here. This chip here, and this one especially, this is a, a Yamaha YM2610. I believe this is the, the sound chip, and this is the uh, sound processor. This one here starts to get really warm after about, well, probably about a minute. This actually starts to get so hot you can hardly touch it. So there's definitely something up with that there. This one here, it starts to get warm. It doesn't get warmer than I really expect it to, but yeah, these are definitely getting power. But this one especially, the, the Yamaha chip, I think is bad uh, or it's shorted out or something, which we kind of go along with the, the fact that the battery had leaked and it had leaked around this area here so it makes me think this chip has gone wrong I did reflow all the, the solder on the, the bottom of the, the board here and the, the pins and that didn't make any difference um, but yeah that's my main concern at the moment I checked all the, the traces in the area I checked the bottom of the board, checked the top of them with the uh, multimeter to check that they were uh, all hooked up and everything and they all seem fine. They don't look great right now but um, that can be sorted. They are electrically, uh, well they are all making proper electrical contact with the, the parts that they should be is what I'm basically trying to say. But yeah, I'll hook this up in a moment and just show you, not that you'll be able to see anything but uh, for now, my main concern is this chip here. I do still need to replace the, the capacitors, but I'm not sure if it's going to be worth doing at this moment in time. Uh, maybe I should just go ahead and, and try about getting these replaced for now. I don't think the, the Z80 chip here is too difficult to get a hold of. I'm not too sure about the, the Yamaha chip. Um, but that's something to, to look into. But otherwise, that is where I'm at with the, the board. Um, yeah, not too sure where to take it from here. Should I replace the caps or should I go and straight up just try and replace that chip over there? Maybe someone can offer some advice. But yeah, what I'll do is I'll quickly hook it up and just show you what happens when I turn it on. So I've got everything hooked up now, got it all connected to the power supply, the, the JAMA harness is connected to the board and this is my power switch here so if I turn it on you're not going to be able to see anything, there's nothing on screen the only thing that happens here is the little LED comes on I'm satisfied that my video connector is working fine because if you look up here when I turn the, the power on and off it does switch to the the proper channel there, it's just there's nothing on the screen there's no sound either, so I'm happy enough that my video wiring's all been done properly. But yeah, so I turn it on, and right away this chip starts to get warm here. And after about a minute, it'll be pretty much too hot to touch. It's kind of annoying because it's not at the moment. It's not even putting out a, an error code or anything on screen. I've, I've not really got much to work on. So uh, I don't know if replacing this chip here. Or, could th this chip going wrong potentially stop the whole board from outputting any kind of video signal or sound? I don't know. But that's that's my main concern at the moment is this chip here, the switch it off because it's going to end up getting too hot. But yeah, any advice is very welcome. Um, if you want to see someone else working on one of these boards, go check out Thomas's channel, Thomas3120. He's actually working on another one of these. Uh, faulty boards himself. He's got a slightly different uh, model uh, but again he's uh, trying to get one of these up and running from, from scratch having not worked on uh, this hardware before so 
go check out his channel anyway, he does tons of really interesting um, console mods, he's always doing some crazy um, handheld mod or something like that, so check out his videos anyway, but uh, yeah, that's my quick update on the, the MVS there, if anyone's got any suggestions please let me know, I'd be interested to, to hear them and yeah, I think that chip there is the uh, one of the main problems with this board. So, thanks for watching, I think I've rambled on enough now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon.